Good morning guys, so today is the day. If you've seen any of our last couple of videos, you will know that we shipped our van to Halifax to drive it all across Canada to get to Alaska, drive the Pan American Highway. In the last video, we explored Canada a bit for ourselves, but now today is the day that we finally get to go and pick up our van because it has arrived at the harbor. And I'm not gonna lie, that is simultaneously super exciting, but also mildly terrifying because, I mean, we haven't seen our van for three weeks now since we left it at the harbor and they put it on the boat if you watch that video you'll know there was a bunch of prep involved because there is a relatively good chance that someone would go into the van steal stuff from the van and we've been holding our breath to find out if it is gonna make it all right into Canada for the past few weeks but now today is the day that we can finally go and pick it up here we go folks let's hope it hasn't been completely stripped yet <laughs> but first we should probably fly to Halifax, because we're not in the Halifax right now, we're still in Toronto. Uh, we're off to a great start here, we're at the Toronto airport, um, and we just got off where the bus dropped us off. Apparently we are in Terminal 1, and we were unaware that we had to go to Terminal 3, so we're waiting for a train, we hope. That's gonna stop here and bring us to Terminal 3. The good news though is we are flying to Halifax today and tomorrow or the day after, we're going to pick up our van, Vinny. We're gonna pick up Vinny. Vinny has arrived on Thursday or Friday into the harbor area. And then on Tuesday, uh, we're going to the customs to get him cleared in and then we can pick him up. That's great, but you know, we've got a ticket that says we're flying to Toronto to Halifax and nowhere on all the tickets, reservations, anything, it says it's Terminal 3. Luckily there's a free train, it's fast, hopefully, come on. That actually was super fast. That's much better. Our flight is on there, Halifax, 2 p.m. We are sitting next to each other because normally we weren't, but the guy who was sitting next to me agreed to switch with me. Did not sit next to her. And then I asked the guy next to me, would you maybe mind switching so I can sit next to my boyfriend? He was like, oh yeah, sure. Canadians are so nice. And it's yeah. been so long since we said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since we <laughs> It's been so long since we sat next to each other on the point. That's why I don't want to sit next to her. Every time I pay extra. <laughs> Welcome to Halifax now. We're gonna make our way to our hotel. And normally, tomorrow on Monday, we're supposed to pick up Vinny, but we found out yesterday. Tomorrow is public holiday. It's Victoria Day. It's like a national holiday. I don't know what it is exactly, but all government offices are closed tomorrow. So, so we were planning on picking tomorrow, it up tomorrow. We're up. Yeah. It's actually very different from Toronto architecture and the way it looks. The weather also is like really gloomy. But finally, happy to have made it here. Gotta move on, mister. Almost there, almost there. I'm keeping my mask on, even though I don't have to wear it anymore. It is nice and toasty this way. <laughs> All right, now to our hotel. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Halifax. This is our bedroom. We're currently in, what is this? The Barrington Hotel? Yep. The Barrington Hotel. The Barrington Hotel, it was the cheapest option available, although the price still baffled us a little bit, but we are in this lovely, fairly large double. Although I do have to say that people really left out a big mess here, like they made a big mess. For the price we we're paying, they could have cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible what they've done here. 
And then through here is the ensuite bathroom with shower over there behind me, as you can see. This is the cheapest room that was available in Halifax. Um, and we are paying 120 euros per night to stay here. So that's about 10 times, maybe five times as much as what we would usually be paying in Mexico or something. So to us, this is really like so expensive. Canada is expensive, folks. But no worries, today we should be picking up our little house on wheels so we don't have to bankrupt ourselves paying for Canadian hotels much longer. First we have to go to the customs office, which is like on the complete other side of the city of the harbor. Makes no sense at all, but hey, it is what it is. We have to uh, like declare that we have imported it and give all the paperwork. Then they should stamp it off and then we can go to the harbor to actually pick up our van. I just checked all the documents that we need. We need a bunch of stuff like the bill of lading, like arrival notice, our passports. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing wrong. Hopefully they're not doing extra checks or found anything illegal. Who knows what they found in our car. But yeah, here goes uh, nothing. Alright, we made it to the customs office. Just realized that we didn't print any documents. I just have them on my phone. Hope we don't need to print them. So it's, it's gonna be a hard time to find somewhere to print, but let's do this guys. Customs, step one. I'm pretty, pretty nervous now actually. God knows. God knows what could have possibly gone wrong. So the good news is that we got it. We got it cleared in. Yep. Um, it has been inspected, or so we've been told. But everything's fine. But, but we cannot go pick it up today. They said they were busy with unloading a ship or something, and they say, yeah, we require 24-hour notice. But yeah, they also require customs to be cleared. So it's like we can't really do it in a day. We just have to wait another day. Anyway, anyway, we're not gonna nag about it. I'm gonna nag about it all day long. I can tell. I can tell. Oh, the wind is really <laughs> insane here. Because uh, we already checked that out of our hotel, we looked for cheap op cheaper options because that one we stayed in last night was pretty expensive. And then I checked around and I found this, which is the university, the local university also has rooms that you can rent even as a tourist. So it's a bit uh, strange concept for us, but it was a lot cheaper. It was like half the price of uh, a normal room. So And it's actually a beautiful building. Look at yeah. this. Looks like this old UK style building almost yeah, like English. Does, does. Like... I'm gonna be so happy once we can stop. Chucking these huge bags around. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, I did. Oh my god, it really is a dorm room. Yeah. <laughs> the two separate beds. We have separate rooms. Yeah. Alright, we just made it to the harbor area and what do we see here? It's Vinny. They just brought him up. What? There he is. So that means he is in one piece or mostly in one piece. I mean, still I think driving. He's, he's still driving. He's still driving. Hopefully the inside will be okay. Hopefully nothing will have been stolen. Hopefully there won't be any damage. Oh my God, this is really, really exciting. I can't believe he's just, he's just right there, like right there. Uh, mister, where are you going with my van? Oh my god. Let's not get too excited just yet. We have to completely inspect him, make sure nothing's wrong, fill out a bunch of paperwork, but he's here. Like, he's actually here. I can see him. Crazy. I can almost touch him. Looking good on the outside. We just have to inspect it and make sure there's no damage. Oh my god. It's horrible. This little orange sticker wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> no, this looks good. That was there. Here we go, folks. Let's hope it hasn't been completely stripped yet. Okay, okay, okay. 
This was broken. That's fine. It was there. Okay. Oh, it looks just like you left them. It literally looks like no one has been in here. Please be full. It's full, it's full, it's full, it's full. It looks like no one's been in here. And like we have everything and all our stuff is now just like we flew to the other side of the world and all our stuff is now here. Our vehicle, our house is here. How cool is this? So cool. Oh, I can't believe it. It feels so weird to actually have it here in Canada. <laughs> Oh. You okay? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Sad? <laughs> I really wanted my stuff to be gone. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Like, I didn't worry about it a ton, but I worried about it a little bit. Like, every day, at least once for the past two weeks, I was like, I hope our stuff isn't gone. Like, and especially, I hope no one, like, broke anything inside the van or anything. And, we're good. We're good, folks. We're good. Ah, now I get to sh on my own toilet again. <laughs> Life goals. That's a sign you're home. Maybe we shouldn't put them like this because I might. Uh, the, the wheels are hitting the side there. Ah, uh, the, the <laughs> nagging resumes. <laughs> All right, folks, we need to get cracking though. We need to get some gas for Vinny because we had to drain the tank to almost empty. We to get some groceries so we're going to Walmart because I think they stock pretty much everything but that's what we need to do we need to pack out our stuff we need to <sighs> so much thing to do to, before the van is like at least we ready, have the van again. let's go let's go and take our first drive in Canada so maybe just a silly question but uh do I drive on the left side or on the right side here right so we've been here for more than a week now <laughs> <laughs> okay okay which one is the brake again okay it actually drives Maybe we should celebrate. This is the first kilometer of probably about 10,000 kilometers we're going to do in Canada, so I uh, better get used to this. I need to adjust my seat a bit more. <laughs> so, <clears throat> just as to make sure that we really had the Tim Hortons experience, we tried Tim Hortons in Toronto and it was not that great to be honest. I had the double double. And I was not really impressed, but then I was like, maybe I should try it again. Maybe it's just a fluke. Because everyone keeps talking about these double doubles. So we have a double double, Americano for Nay, and I have some Timbits. Oh, it's better. Yeah? Enjoy. Yeah, it's better. Oh, yeah, it's much better. <laughs> these are Timbits, which are like little sugary dough balls. This one is, is with covered in sugar. Mmm. Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, now we are at Decathlon, which we also have at home. Probably not what they call it in Canada, probably Decathlon or something. But why is it that all stores seem to be just bigger and better and more organized than at home? For example, this would not look that organized ever in Belgium. Same for the, the rack with all the backpacks. Should we fit it? Bought ourselves a new chair. We uh, gambled that it would fit in here. It does not, though. Ah. Ah. Never. Nah, not gonna happen. Yeah, not what we expected. So instead, we're gonna go with this, because we think that that should fit somewhere. We also have a table now. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Ah, finally, finally. It fits, so we even have some room. Bum. Whoa. Oh my God, it actually fits perfectly. Oh, oh, and he's holding a waffle. It's ridiculous how excited I am to be able to finally go into a Walmart. I've 
after years and years of seeing it constantly on TV and movies and stuff. Oh yeah, they got that at Walmart. Oh yeah, we're going to Walmart. And now we're going to Walmart. Am I beeping? I was not. Oh my god, look at this. I know it's super healthy to have kale, but I've never had it before because it typically does not exist in Belgium when you go to a store. <laughs> so, after shopping about a little bit here in the vegetable aisle, we can safely say Canada, or at least Walmart, is a lot more expensive than in Belgium, the general average supermarket. Maybe it's just Walmart, I don't know, but I think in general, uh, vegetables are like almost twice the price of Belgium, at least some of them. It's pretty expensive. Here in Canada, carrots are only for the rich. <laughs> because Canada. All right, we made it out of the Walmart after about two, two hours, I think. And then we spent 300 Canadian dollars in total, which is quite a lot for what we have. But on the other hand, we were not allowed to bring any food with us that we had in Belgium. So we had to leave everything in the van uh, in Belgium. So we had to buy like spices and, and soy sauce and, and all, like all this small stuff that's pretty expensive. Literally everything. Yeah. Really big list. It hurts a little bit. Speaking of things that are expensive, we're gonna fuel up Vinny. He needs some uh, gasoline, well not gasoline, he takes diesel. He's a very particular kind of guy, but yeah, it's gonna be expensive, two Canadian dollar per liter. But on the bright side, in Belgium, it's about three Canadian dollar per liter. So it feels like we're getting a discount, even though it's still expensive here. We even got some messages on Instagram from people who said, oh, welcome to Canada, and we're so sorry about the fuel prices. And we were like, no, seriously, it's cool. <laughs> Could be way worse. <laughs> That's okay, Kim. Tw 20 bucks is enough. <laughs> Screw the trip to Alaska. We're driving around Halifax and then we're shipping it back. <laughs> Probably cheaper. Um, Kim, Kim, it's already above $100. That, that's not what we agreed to. It's okay, it's okay, you can stop. What the f <laughs> How loud is that machine? We've arrived at some kind of toll road, but we need change to... And it's really busy here. Yeah. I don't have any coins, I think. Do you have any coins? No. I, I can't pay in cash, normal yeah, cash. Yeah. You got a dollar? Uh, five got five? No. Yes. I'm just going to let you go, okay? Okay. Go to the outside lanes. That's, they make the change there. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So yeah, we're, we're supposed to be on the outside lane, he said. There you can pay and, and have changed. The lane we were in is only when you have like coins and you could just throw it in the basket and it does it automatically. But he just let us pass like this. Canadians are so nice. Yeah, people are just too nice. In another country they would have been like, oh no, you gotta back up all the way back and then go to the other side. A guy's like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just let you pass, it's fine. But it's confusing driving around the country where you don't know like the customs. So we're back at a different part of the port right now where they have all of the shipping containers and stuff. And we're looking for a very particular package or for a place to pick up a very particular package. So this is a package that was very clearly marked as being for us. It's super heavy. I have no idea what's in here actually, but so this package is from Chris, who is a subscriber who watches our videos. Hi, Chris. Um, she lives here in Halifax um, and she actually works as a customs broker slash 
freight foreigner, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and she's usually down by the port as she suggested meeting up in Halifax. But apparently right now, Chris is on a vacation. <laughs> and then she said, well, I'll have a little surprise for you. I have a package waiting for you at the port. So go and pick it up. Oh my God, this is so heavy. I know. I love mystery packages. It's so big. God, look at this. <gasps> Ooh, a supply. What is all of this? It's local beers. Limelight lager. And there's a bunch more. And snacks. Old Dutch maple syrup. I haven't tried maple syrup yet. And there's chocolate. And a bowl of wine. My wine. goodness. Local wine. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be so good. Maple cream. Welcome to Canada. A few local goodies for you. Enjoy your travel. Sorry we couldn't meet you, but we are looking forward to seeing your post. Safe travels. Chris and Dan. Thank you both so much, Chris and Dan. That is so, so nice. Wow. Chocolate? This is caramel, salt, sea salt, almond. Mmm. It's like a flavor bomb. Oh, it's really it's good. Mmm. Chris and Dan, if you're watching this, a really, really big, massive, oh, <laughs> huge thank you from both of us. That is really, really nice. Really Even by Canadian like, standards, this is extremely nice. Yeah, Canadians are already at a very high standard. The hospitality we've experienced so far here in Canada has been through the roof, but uh, really, thank you guys. We're gonna enjoy this a lot. Snack box. Is our back? Looks like a home. Looks like a home again. Her bed has been converted. We have our blankets. We have a complete bed. Crab drawer. Kitchen utensils. Fully stocked fridge. Like the light went back on. I'm not even kidding. Really? It wasn't working earlier today and even a few weeks before that. Look at that, it's oh working. Oh my God, it's a miracle. The van is in perfect order. We have done so much today. A lot more than I would have thought possible. And it's only 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So we can still do a bunch of work. Still have some work to do. Yay! Go work! Go work! All right, guys, so we just parked up for the night, basically at the Walmart shopping center area. It's the Canadian Tire right over there behind us. And we're right in front of the Boston Pizza because, basically, because of this little dude right here. It is currently around midnight and we have a deadline for our translation work um, coming up in a couple of hours and then we need to finish up some stuff and we don't, I mean we bought a local sim card with data but here in Canada data are so expensive. You basically have to take free Wi-Fi whenever we can. A lot of the stores here in this shopping center have free Wi-Fi. Now he's super tired. He also just finished working like five minutes ago. So he is going to take a nap and I'm probably gonna work for the next couple of hours. We will see you in the next video where we're going to start our road trip through Canada. So we're super stoked about that. We hope you'll join us for that as well. Bye bye, see you. <laughs>